Hi friends. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Gina. I'm Dirk. And we're DNG Thrifts. DNG Thrifts. So in today's video, what are we doing? We are showing what we've picked up. We are saying, telling you what sold. Not a great week, by the way. Uh, and we're also going to tell you the winner of the most ridiculous item of the week. But that's coming up. So now let's begin. Yeah. Unless there's anything you'd like to begin no, with. No, I don't have anything to say. All right. <laughs> well, we'll see you next week. <laughs> All right. So let's show some of the things we picked up. This is through the week. Through the week, we've stopped at multiple thrift stores. We don't have to name each one. You know the ones we yeah, go to. Yeah, our typical ones. Goodwill Salvation Army, True Thrift Store, and our new Pig and Pearl. Pig and Pearl, yes. Yeah. All right. Do you want me to go first or would you like? Go ahead. Normally you go, go first. Okay, I'll go first. So I found a great pair of Lululemon. Lululemon. Lululemon athletic pants. They have some neat little mesh here at the bottom pant cuff. And these were at Salvation Army and they were, I think they were $7.99. Yeah, and they're, you would think Salvation Army would be cheaper <laughs> than anybody because it's a Salvation Army, but they're not anymore. No, they're the, one of the more expensive they ones. Are. They are. I found the size in this. I don't remember where I saw it. I don't know. It's in the hidden. It's somewhere in here. I don't know. It's in there. It's a smaller size. Yeah. I know that. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I also picked up something at the Salvation Army. And this is something that is not for the brand, really. It's for what's on it. It's just a Hanes uh, alt, uh, extra large, but it has this train mural that goes all the way around it for the Virginia and Tucky Railroad in, for, uh, in Virginia City, Nevada. And I know there's, it's a really nice silk screen all the way around, which is kind of cool. Uh, and I know there's a ton of railroad guys out there that would want to wear this while they're going to a show or if they're in their, what's wrong? No, it was the price on that one. Oh, it's just the blue thingy. Salvation Army. Salvation Army. Uh, so it's a sweatshirt. Uh, and you know there's a guy that wants to wear that while he has his track set up in his garage or basement, you know. And wear his engineer hat. Wear his engineer hat. hat and yeah. Probably overalls. Probably over overalls. No, no, he's wearing a sweatshirt this time. Well, under underneath his overalls. Yes. All right, so my item. Notice we're trying to go faster, right? Oh. Because, <laughs> I don't know, are our videos too long? You think they're too long? Yeah. They, they seem kind of long. They seem I don't long. know. We're just going to. Yeah. Show Unless you. you guys like hearing us just chat about whatever and have. Like we're doing right now long, and not yeah, showing. I know, I know, having long videos, but you tell us. What, what do you prefer? Quick look at the items, let's go, let's go, or. Hey, how you doing? How's how, how about we uh, get right back weather? to the action here? <laughs> okay, this is the next item I found. This was at the Goodwill, a really pretty sweater hoodie. And this one is new to me. It's um looks like new a tag also. Aaron, it is. Aaron's sweater market, Aaron Islands, Ireland. So it's new. I think it's new. I mean, it's brand new with tag. Mm -hmm. I was going to say um, it looks like a fisherman's sweater. It uh, is. It's like fisherman style. But it's green. Style. It zips, I think. Yeah, it zips up the front. It's a hoodie. It's a hoodie. It's a but sweater hoodie. But it's a hoodie. sweater. And it's uh, extra small. And it's 100% merino wool. And it was $5.99 at the Goodwill. They go for $50 plus. So definitely, I picked that's a that good up. good pickup. Yeah. Uh, I got. I'm just gonna show stuff as we go. Oh, I got something that is no surprise to anybody who watches our show. Hey, look at that! Another Maglite uh, or Magna Light. Maglite. Maglite is the flashlight. <laughs> Magna Light is the cookware. Yep. This is, of course, the newer version that doesn't sell as well as the old stuff. And uh, it could use totally a polish to get get that shiny 
thing on it, but it's, you know, it's, it's not, it's not bad at all. And it was, it was $9. Uh, and the last one I had one of these sold for 50. So. Or 60, wasn't it? It was like 50 or 60. 50 or 60. It's a no brainer. Uh, if you see one for $10, you pick it up because that's $40 in your pocket. So I picked that up at the, uh, Goodwill. Okay. So at the Salvation Army. This was a tag team. This was, yes, this was a group effort, <laughs> this, this next thing. Okay, so I was looking through the racks and I found this turquoise-ish, turquoise bright blue blazer. But look at the brand, Ex excellent brand. It's St. John, it's a size two, smaller size. I think it's wool. Usually they are, aren't they? Wool and rayon blend. So I found this and it has a really pretty button on it, gold. And Derek walked up to me like not long after I found it and I was like, hey, look at this, look what I found. <laughs> and he knows this brand, St. Brand. John. So what does he say to me? He goes, oh, is there a skirt to match? <laughs> and I was like, well, it, it was just the jacket. I didn't even think to go look for the skirt. So he's like, I'll go look. So he went and looked. And about 40 seconds later, <laughs> He walks back to me with this. So this is the matching skirt. This was two racks down. Uh, yeah. And I went through the skirts before I went through the jackets. Right, but, but you're... I didn't, this was just a plain, I didn't even look at the brand on it. It right. was just plain. I didn't It look. was easy to find because I was just looking for this turquoise, turquoise. blue. Turquoise. And sure enough, Here, I just... hold up the jacket. Boop, there it was. So this is our group effort. I don't know what we're gonna get for this. I don't know. It should be over a hundred, I think. Usually they are. Yeah. They're... So this was, I think, seven ninety nine. They charged long sleeve shirt price right. on this. I don't know how much skirts are. Probably twenty seven dollars. <laughs> no, probably <laughs> either seven ninety nine or five ninety nine. Something along that I don't nature. Know, but Saint John is a good brand uh, to be on the lookout for. And then also at uh, this was this is also a Salvation Army. I actually got a lot of things at the Salvation over time. It wasn't the same day. Uh, I only got this. This is just a giant, super heavy hoodie. Uh, but it's I you just I just saw it and I thought, wow, that's so thick and heavy and I mean, it literally is probably two pounds. Uh, and it's made by American Giant. And I looked these guys up. Uh, it's 100% cotton, made in the USA, uh, and it's just thick. I mean, it's, it's thick, heavy. And these things sell for like $130 for a sweatshirt. Used? No, like new 130 used, they're like 80 to 100 for, and I thought, yeah. wow, geez, I'm gonna take a- Definitely pick up that. The old, I'm gonna take a shot on that one because I don't know. Uh, so I got that. Okay. So then we're back at the Goodwill. I didn't even separate my stuff. I just- well, Just showing it. Just, just showing it. <laughs> Nobody cares. They have to- you know, No. So this order. is a nice large, well, it's actually, it's a size small, but it's like an oversized fit. I kind of want to try it on. Try it on. I just want to see. It's free people. It's a free people vest. It's a puffer vest with a hood. Yeah. Are you warm? No, you look cozy. No, it's <laughs> it's kind of cozy. <laughs> um, but it zips and it snaps. It fits Does me. Does it crackle and a pop? <laughs> it fits me. I didn't hear that. that very well. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of mm -hmm. like it. <gasps> Take that off. Okay, so. <laughs> Free People is the brand, size small, and it's new with tag. And this was in the rack. This was in the uh, new rack. It was in the new rack. And we have to fight for those now. Yeah, we do. We do, we really do, because there's just so many resellers these there's, days. It's a thing now. I mean, granted, we're doing it. And, but we've been doing it for 20 for plus years. years. We've been doing it. It's never yes. been like but yesterday. It's, it's at, a thing. Yeah, and like yesterday at the Salvation Army, there's this. She's younger. I'll call her a girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's a younger girl, and she's there. Every time we're there. Yeah. And I nearly had to tell her to back off. <laughs> I 
yesterday because she was like, she was like getting in front of me. I mean, come on. Yes, you need to. <laughs> it was like, I was just like, I didn't say anything because I'm not that person, but I was like thinking to myself, back the heck off. <laughs> so anyway. All right, get this cozy back saying, on. <laughs> you need to you calm to, down. You have to fight. Yeah, it's, 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 days. it's and, an aggressive. And we're not fighters, so no, we're just kind of like. I'm always like, oh, go ahead, take a look. <laughs> you know. This was $12.99, so it was a little more expensive. It was, and it looks like but it might I be in our closet. I don't know. No, I can't, I can't. I picked up another item. Uh, this was at the Goodwill. Uh, this might have been a boulder, I don't remember. Um, and it's, I got it, again, again, I didn't buy it. There is actually no tag on it, but it's what the context is, and it's Death Cab for Cutie, 1997 uh, Seattle. Uh, Death Cab for Cutie, if you're not aware, is a band. I didn't uh, know that. It's like an emo band, I guess. Um, and um, I guess they're kind of emo. Think it'll go well? I think to a Death Cab for Cutie person, yeah. they would love to I have like that. I like the name, that's kind of fun. Yeah. All right, so from the Goodwill. Oh, that was uh, $5.99. Since at the Goodwill. At the Goodwill. At the Goodwill. So this is a really sparkly athletic top from the brand Athleta. And it's a large, and it's, it's got some cute little detailing there. Flattering, kind of a flattering mm -hmm. fitting type of. Pulls in on the waist a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it'll look good on someone, not me. And it was five ninety nine. Uh, just again, another thing. I've been picking up stuff just to try because you have to try, uh, and it was half off, which That's is nice. That's how you learn is trying it new is. things. Uh, this was a. It's a, just a really nice heavy T-shirt. It's from Obey. Uh, which I've never actually had an Obey item before. Uh, but I was looking these up, and uh, it's a size small, and uh, they sell for like $50 new, so I figured I could probably get $25, $30 for it $29 used. $29.99. $29.99. So, and it was half off, it was like $1.65, because T-shirts are 3 bucks, I think, at the Salvation Army. Mm hmm So this, linen, if you don't know, 100% linen clothing sells really well, um, resells really well. So look at this cute little bell sleeve on this one. Kind of a tie-dye, would you say, sort of? Tie-dye? Oh, it's tie-dye. Tie-dye, blue and gray, and the brand. It's a good brand. It's Bryn Walker, and the size is an extra small. But I should, I'm going to put it for my usual $29.99. And it was $5.99 at the Goodwill. Goodwill. Uh, next item I picked up, uh, you know, I do like to pick up shoes every once in a while. And I always look at the shoes because you never know what you're going to find. And I have actually never bought a pair of the single monks, but I have bought Allen Edmonds before. Allen Edmonds is an American shoe manufacturer for men. High-end. High-end. It's Alden and uh, Alan Edmund are basically the two high-end for our, in America. Uh, and it's a single monk strap. Uh, it's called the Norwich. It's kind of difficult to maybe see in there. Uh, and it didn't have a price tag on it. The soles, the heels at least, will need redone because of the heavy walker on the sides. of. But the actual soles themselves on the front are actually aren't too bad. Does this usually affect the price? Nah, it depends. Uh, it depends on the guy. Because I bought shoes that, for myself, if, if, it's a, if it's like an old vintage pair of shoes that look good on the top, but maybe the soles are bad, pick them up because then you can take them to a, a, a shoe cobbler. cobbler. And I had him completely redo the sole so you didn't like feel the other person's foot. And it's basically a brand new pair of shoes then. And it costs like 50 bucks to have them resold. And you get yourself a three or $400 pair of shoes. Now like these were probably like 300, probably new. Uh, and didn't have a price tag on them, uh, and the guy priced them at $10. So uh, I saw these sell for uh, in around the 70 area on eBay. So, sold. Yes. So those should sell 60 to 70, I would assume. 
So this is something Derek found and brought to me. Where was it, on the new rack? It was on the new rack and I had to just, there's these. Yeah, but they wouldn't go for this. I know, but it was like, you just, <laughs> there's a group of people. Young guys. We're not gonna go into it, but there's a group of people that live at the Goodwill every day. They do, they're there. they even said they're there all day Let's long. Let's not get too into it. <laughs> Uh, but they just hang out wherever the racks are. And there's a, like three of them. And like, there's no way you can even get in there because the moment a rack comes out, three people instantly jump on it. And so I happened to be closer. So I jumped in and I was just, that looks something, that looks something. And I just got like a pile of stuff that looked like <laughs> it could be something. And this was one of them. And then I go back to Gina it's like, hey, you want this? And then yeah. I'll put it back if I don't want it, but. Uh. So this is what he found. It's like a big cape sweater. Uh -huh. Really nice pattern, really good brand. Lauren, Ralph Lauren, size small, medium. But it's big, it's a cape. Yeah, it's big, it's really cute. Got It has like a turtleneck neck on it. What's it made of? I don't it even know. It feels woolish. Or like alpaca maybe. It reminds me of like, you know, like I always just think of like the Clint Eastwood man with no name, you know, word that the uh, cape poncho. Is that like the one you have? Yeah, it's like the one I have. Oh, okay. Similar, but this is like. I lost the neck here. Here's the neck. <laughs> it gets <laughs> lost. It's like there's so, so much fabric. There is a lot of fabric in this. All right. I just saw it. Where is it? Is that the neck or is that the sleeve? You're on the sleeve. <laughs> here, here we go. There's a button there. That's a sleeve. Seriously, <laughs> it's like hard to find the, here I see the tag. Okay. That is the neck. But it's the just tag like a, is like way down there. Well, it's like a turtleneck thing. Here. There we go. <sighs> Doesn't even say. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, there. 70% acrylic, 30% wool. Okay, that's why it's so soft. All that for that. <laughs> so anyway, so this was, what did you pay for it? Or what did we pay for it? Oh, gosh. We paid something for <laughs> it. It's okay, we'll it. tell you what it sells for. No, 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 I wanna, find, I wanna know how much we paid for it. I'm curious. If it's $5.99 or This is like it's... one of those Rubik's cubes or something. Here maybe. it is. <laughs> 599. Yay! Good price. Okay, I think I'm out of stuff. No, you got a bunch of stuff down here. But I didn't get this. Yeah, this is all your stuff right here. I didn't buy that, did I? Okay. Well, this is all stuff you're going to be selling on your oh, site. Oh, stuff I'm going to be selling. Yeah. Well, this is just a, a cashmere sweater that I'm going to keep for myself. Uh, I, I found it. Yeah. And it's just a size medium Mark Shale. I don't even know the brand. They sell for like 30. Okay, well, it's going to go into my closet. Yeah, his cashmere collection. My cashmere collection. And then this is kind of a similar, sort of similar. Like the cape, yeah. Kind of, except this actually does have sleeves. Right. And what brand is this one? Can't read it? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember if I looked up if this, this might have been something I just threw into threw in your... <laughs> the basket to remember to look up what it goes for. Well, we have well, it now. Well, here is the brand. Char Charisma? <laughs> you don't say it very positive. Charisma. Charisma. I have no idea if this is a Do you know of this brand? Let us know, because uh, we're going to have to be looking it up. I'll have to look it up, it up again. I, well, we can always return it, because we That's have true. our receipt. It was six ninety nine. dollars What's it made of? Maybe it's made of something really good, and that's why I decided it. To... Lollipops? Gumdrops? No, oh, just wool. It's a one size. Okay, I do remember looking this up. I think it does do well, because I remember the one size. Yeah. So, I don't know. We, we shall see what Mystery happens. item. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you found these, but I'll be selling these. Uh, this is a, what size is it? Oh, it's a medium. That's my size. It's his size. Uh, just a used Pat classic Patagonia t-shirt. Uh, it's probably sell for like 20 or something. Probably. Probably. Not uh, a lot. But... Yeah, it's just a... 
I, I can only keep have going. one thing left. So well, I'll just keep, keep going. going. Uh, also in that pile was this Patagonia, which is like not a t-shirt, it's more of a, like a workout shirt. It's kind of like a stretchy uh, with a Patagonia. Like a, uh, Moisture wicking. Yeah, feeling. it's like a moisture wicking shirt. I'm yeah. sure they have a name for it. Yeah. Uh, that's a size medium Did also. Did you show it back? Yeah, I showed it back. Nice. And I think there's one. There oh, there, yeah, it, is. there it is. Another moisture wicker. Another moisture wicker. There we go. Another Patagonia. This is also probably a size medium. Yeah, same guy. This one says mountains on the back. Uh, again, like we were talking about, like stuff like this, Patagonia, uh, you find here, you find here because I was telling you, it. like this is outdoor stuff. There's, I do have some other stuff in there. Colorado is probably the, I think it was like one of the fittest states because everyone's, you know, in the winter time they're skiing, they're hiking, they're walking their dogs, they're riding their bikes, they're running, they're, everyone's doing something. <laughs> I have more I didn't realize. So let me let me do some stuff. You found this. Bowden. Oh yeah, Bowden. It's a Bowden, kind of a puffy shoulder blue sweater. Nice. It's a bigger size. US twelve. And it was five ninety nine. Nice. Just, you know, it's not gonna go for a lot, but right. it'll be, you know, little things add up to big things. And, oh, I might have more than what you have left. So it's okay, I'll keep you going. can keep going. So this was at the, this was at the Salvation Army. And this is, I, you know, when I found this, I thought, oh, this is going to be really good. And I looked it up and then, I mean, I'm going to make money off of it, but not as much as I would have in the past. So this is a Chico's, but it's a Chico's Traveler's. And it's brand new with tag. What's a traveler's mean? Well, it says the fat, see right here, it says traveler's. But they're so it's wearing. a type of, it's a type of fabric the tra for the traveling woman. It doesn't wrinkle. It's supposed oh. to not wrinkle. So this is just like a long, nice, colorful, open duster type jacket. Cardigan, I think it's called a cardigan actually, on the tag. Sweater jacket, ultra pink. Regular price, look at that price. $149. Wow. I mean, they're expensive. Mm -hmm. They used to do really well. So I don't know if they still do. I mean, I'll make money off of it. It was $7.99. Okay, go ahead. Uh, let's see what I have down here because I don't remember what I get. Sometimes you just pick up stuff. Uh, this is yours. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> I bought that for myself. Isn't this cute? <laughs> it's a sweatshirt, a hoodie, and it says Foothill Foxes. She likes foxes. Boulder, Colorado. That's mm -hmm. on the back. And it's just, oh no, that's on the front. It's on oh, the God, front. It's on the front. Yeah, it's on the front. It's just so a, I can see it. It's just a hoodie. We just yeah. got that for her because yeah, sometimes we buy stuff for ourselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you found that for me. Go ahead. Uh, Gina found this for me. Uh, this was on the rack at the Goodwill in Boulder. Uh, she goes, oh, that looks like a jersey. Soccer. I, soccer jersey. And it's England. And it's England. And if you're unsure where it's from, it's England. Uh, <laughs> and so this is just a really just a long sleeve t-shirt. It's not really a uh, soccer jersey, but it'd be just uh, team support, or actually country support. Uh, that you'd wear going to a game that the uh, England's playing somebody. Yep. And that was six ninety nine. So this is from the Salvation Army. It's a long, another long duster, I guess, cardigan sweater from Talbots. Looks like it has a tag. It's a large and it's new with tag. I'm surprised how many new with tags. I know. I mean. It was $139 on sale for $99.99. There's a lot of people that just buy clothes. And never wear them. Never even like take the tag off of them. Yeah. And then after a few years, they're like, eh, I bought something new. Let me get rid of this one. You're done? Uh, I'm done. Well, no, I got one item here. Okay, go ahead. 
this is a, I picked this uh, again. I don't know if it's, you, you actually found this, didn't you? Or did I find yeah, this? Yeah, I found it. Uh, this is James Taylor. This is 2018, so this is a tour shirt. Uh, these are what tour shirts look like now. Uh, James Taylor tour and his all-star band. It looks like they all went to uh, all these places. Uh, so if you're a big James Taylor fan, you would probably love to have this James Taylor 2018 tour T -shirt. shirt. T shirt. Concert shirt. Okay, so now my last two things. We ended up going back to Pig and Pearl. We went on Monday, and we actually found some things this time. So I think that place is going to be really good. Yeah, we'll I just have to. Is. I think we it's just easy to, it. all the time. You just have to hit it. They were having that big sale, which we found out. They said they do it every month. At right. the first of the month, they do. I guess just to clear out inventory. Right. <laughs> something something we could really stand to do. <laughs> yeah, she's asking for more bins. Yeah, now. I need more bins to hold my stuff. So we need to sell more stuff. We actually are not shopping today because we have so much. And yeah. today is just an eBay listing day. For me, it is. And, and a video making day. <laughs> yes. So anyway, we went back and I found this. This is April Cornell, which is a good brand. Just a really cute dress has ties at the back. It's kind of like, like very a, similar to Laura Ashley. It's like a party dress. Like the pe I guess. Like, not like a, you know, not like a Like the people party. who like Laura Ashley enjoy April Cornell. Mm -hmm. I could totally see that. Yeah. Just a nice, just a nice It's like dress. almost a subdued uh, version. And it was $3 because they're all clothing. Unless it's marked otherwise, it's $3 a piece. So I Pick that up. That should do well. And then I also got another dress, which surprisingly should do really well. It's a J. Crew, smaller size, extra small, but they do well. I looked them up, and it's just a cute little checked, check, like gingham check, but mm -hmm. buffalo like. What do they call it? Buffalo, buffalo plaid. plaid, maybe. I don't know. Usually if they it's do a fatter. Or not, though. Usually the squares are bigger. But it's. Black and white. It's a nice dress. Mm -hmm. Three bucks. I like the sleeves. They're little ties on them. Mm -hmm. Cute. That's it. That's everything. That's it, and that's everything. Oh, wait, no, wait. No, wait, there's more. <laughs> there's one more. This is one more thing I got at that new thrift. So this is a nice pair of, and I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's Mm, I think it's Marrakech, and it's sold at Anthropology, and they're just some um, pants. <laughs> pants. For sale. Pants. Pants. <laughs> For three bucks. I should do that on eBay. That's what I paid, three bucks. <laughs> just description. Shirt. <laughs> <laughs> there's just a shirt. Pants. There's nothing in this. Oh my gosh, there's so much. To list. Yeah, there's more to list now. A lot of stuff. That's what I've been working on all day. And you will be continually. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please. All right, so that was the haul for the week. That's the haul. For, yeah. Of last week. So let's. This week. Little, yeah. This week, last so week. So now we need to, we need to say, well, should we do who won most ridiculous item or should we? Let's just say do... what sold and then we'll do okay. the winner of ridiculous item. Okay. Just to keep everybody, because I know everyone's been keeping tabs at home. <laughs> uh, and I know everyone's been talking about it. You guys it. really care about it. It's, it's a huge thing. Uh, I saw, uh, we were on uh, the Today Show talking about it. And then Good Morning America also wanted to talk about it. And, um, and then I woke up. Uh, so these are the things that I've sold this week. I haven't sold very many things. Um, I sold, uh, this is stuff that you've seen. There's some stuff that sold that you haven't seen because I've had it on there for a year and it finally sold. So I'm just gonna go over the things that you've seen that we've picked up. Uh, the first is from many months ago, uh, the Puma Rugby uh, Irish Football, not football, it's a, a... Soccer. Soccer. Rugby. Rugby. Oh, rugby. I said rugby. Yeah, you said um, rugby. The Irish national team from 2011. 
a guy offered me 15 on that. And I was <laughs> what just were like, you asking? I don't know. It started up here thinking and slowly, there'd be some fan. It went down and, and down. It went down and down and down and down. So 15. <laughs> 15 bucks. Uh, so I probably double my money on that one. Uh, I did sell, and I don't think you've seen this, but this was an old uh, uh, L.L. Bean uh, Anorak, which are like a windbreaker from the 80s. I used to have one. Um, oh, that's the one you tried to give to me. Yeah. Yeah. Sold for 18. Uh, that's sold. Uh, some other thing I picked up from the thrift store many years ago, and I found them in a box, and I just posted them last week. There's a whole bunch of uh, military uh, pants and shirts and that sort of thing, and I sold one of them. A guy offered me, uh, I guess it sold for 30. Uh, he didn't even offer me anything. Um, it's what they call a chocolate chip camo pattern. It's from Desert Storm uh, era, so that uh, late 80s, early 90s. That sold for 30. Uh, and I also sold a pair of, which I think you saw a pair of Gap salvage denim jeans, sold for 20. Uh, so again, so it's, it's little things, nothing sold for huge. No huge big sales this but week. But it was like a hundred bucks maybe altogether, if that. So I thought I was just going to say I had one sale this week. So the one, okay. So let me show you that. This is the definite sale this week. I sold this Harry Potter sweatshirt. Uh, I showed you guys, you mm -hmm. saw it. And I was asking $22 and they purchased it for $22. Which house was it? Gryffindor. 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 So that's a definite sale. Okay, so then yesterday, yesterday I had a sale last night and it's this Banana Republic 100% cashmere dress, sweater dress. And I was asking $29.99, and they purchased it for $29.99. However, it's a bit questionable because I had, apparently I had on their local pickup as an option for this item, and they chose local pickup. So I emailed them and said, oh, I saw you chose local pickup. When did you want to pick it up? And I haven't heard anything yet. So... So if you're watching, check your email and respond. <laughs> uh, yeah, if someone out there purchased it. But I have a feeling it was someone probably from New York or something who saw, right. you know, they're like, oh, it's no shipping cost. And, and, right. Yeah, and so that. I have a feeling that's not going to go through, but who knows? You never know. How much was shipping? I don't know eight dollars or ten dollars okay. or something yeah probably it depends on where they're where they are okay i just do flat i do calculated oh i do flat that way i don't have to weigh it i don't do, and it's like i know a t-shirt's going to fit in the padded envelope i know most sweaters if you roll them just really tight they'll fit in there uh other things if i know it's going to go up to the next flat rate i just go with that uh and you know sometimes i get, i'm wrong and I have to pay $3 extra, and sometimes I'm wrong, and I save $3. So it all equals out in the end. Um, I like calculated better. Okay. I don't. I just... Well, that's okay. Because it's, it's a flat rate. I pull off the little way, thing. I do my way. Yes. So... Again, shirt. <laughs> $10. So, now, I did get an offer. You remember the Laura Ashley dress? I do. Yeah, the vintage, do vintage Laura Ashley dress, floral dress. I got an offer for that dress. So I have it on there for $149.99, and I was offered $119, $119, which is great. Mm -hmm. But I haven't accepted it yet. <laughs> just, I don't know why. Why haven't I accepted it Well, yet? what you should do, this is what I do sometimes. I just put it on. I just listed it yesterday, and there's like five watchers right. on it, and... So that's why I'm not like jumping on right. that. I had that offer. with a cowboy hat. I, I just listed it uh, the other day. I finally got the pictures done and everything listed it. And I put it for 80 because uh, I saw they're selling like in the 70s. Because I know some, that people love, no matter what price you put on there, generally there's some guy that's going to say, Would you take this? Uh, of course, I had the guy that said, Oh, yeah, it's for 80. I'll offer you 40. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, and then so I countered at 60. And I thought 60 would be okay. Um, yeah, but then this morning I got a guy offered me 20. <laughs> so uh, that one, of course, got, uh, we had a little cat. Yeah, a little uh, controversy. Controversy. 
Uh, they wanted the sunshine spot in the yeah. window, and <laughs> it was taken. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but again, it's like, I won't take 20. The 40 is okay, but I just don't like when people offer me half, no matter what. Uh, I mean, he should have just offered 45. Off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> just don't offer half, because half is just, that's just never it. Yeah. So I, I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't even brought up the Laura Ashley because I haven't sold it. No. It's not a sale this week. It, yeah. It's, well, It next... may be, but you may see it. You may see it. Well, you will probably. If I accept this offer, you'll see it next week. Right, because I don't have any picture to show. Yeah. Oh, so it's, it's just a mention. Yeah, it's just It's a an mention. honorable just mention. A, because I had such a pathetic week. So I <laughs> yeah, wanted we... to mention it. I actually had another offer on another dress. Um, it was another, I think it was asking $100 for this dress, and they offered 50, 50 50 And I countered 80 I think, or, no, I, I didn't, it was pretty, because it's a summer dress, and it's not summer right. yet, so I figured. Oh, and another thing, that Laura Ashley dress, it's a overseas, it's overseas, Great Britain. Is oh, wants to the buy person. it. Yeah. And this other, this summery dress that i'm talking about now was from italy the offer was from oh. italy so i know i'm getting some international stuff it sounds like it yeah but anyway we're we're we're, we're just yeah we're rambling okay we're rambling now on to the most winner ridiculous item winner most ridiculous item of the week winner through popular voting it was tight this yeah, time yeah it was kind of tight it wasn't an obvious winner uh I mean, it wasn't in like this to yeah, this. Yeah, it was pretty close. It was really close. So it was the creepy kittens. Creepy kittens. Are the winners. They won. <laughs> they won. So. I think because you could actually use the teapot, where the creepy kittens. They're just creepy. They're just creepy. You don't want them. <laughs> they're just, they're just there. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's the winner of this yep. week. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you for voting uh thank you for everyone for watching and all our subscribers and i love all the comments uh if you are new and you've lasted again this long uh please subscribe because uh, they're going to be like this every week except we're going to try to make them faster so yeah, we don't try not, drone we're on still kinda, we're still droning still on kinda long, okay but, so uh yeah thanks for watching thanks for subscribing please subscribe if you haven't check out any of our ebay items as we get them posted in the description below the uh, link you'll to see our a link stores. to our stores uh and if there's anything that catches your eye take a look and throw us an offer just don't do half <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, I, we'll see you next time. See you next week. See you next week. Bye.